we're talking about a global opportunity to affect the course of health and access to really successful, important medicines for cancer and autoimmune disease for people all across the world. If you look at all of the drug types in the modern pharmacopoeia, the fastest growing sector of drugs by chemical type are monoclonal antibodies. Basically, nature's way within the body of producing something against an invader. Well, you can use monoclonal antibodies to modify the course of cancer, autoimmune disease of all types, as well as infectious disease. We enjoy the leverage of working with the world's largest biologics manufacturer. Serum Institute has a long history of vaccine production. They are the largest producers of vaccines in the world by volume. Well, with Nucon, it's going to be a completely uh, game changer. And uh, we expect now to branch out from vaccine, which is our core, to monoclonals and other immunobiologicals, which will take Serum Institute to greater heights. So together with the leverage of our skills and technology and Serum's scale and business model, that we hope to address the unmet clinical need in the Northern Hemisphere, where people have traditionally been able to access these very expensive medicines, and also to the rest of the world, where up to now they've never been able to access these drugs because of two things, price and availability. The people, together with the best robotics and equipment that you can buy, with the right dedication and focus to only work on biosimilar monoclonal antibodies, leads to very high cost effectiveness. In a very short time, we produce high quality molecules and then can partner these with anyone else. We need a pharma partner to bring to us the things that we and Serum do not have. Pharmaceutical companies have the infrastructure, experience, financial scale and knowledge of how to take a drug into many, many continents and check out the efficacy and safety of the drug. This is a win-win situation for both the partnership, Serum Institute and Nuclone, but also for those patients in all parts of the world who have never been able to access these expensive drugs.